Let's see here. None of these cards are keyboard. Please don't be another bl Death Knight, Blood, Death Knight. Oh my gosh, I've played against like 60% of my games today have been against Blood, Death Knight, and it's this deck's like worst matchup because they can gain 48. Oh, okay, we'll win this one. We'll, we'll, we'll believe in the heart of the cards and we'll win this one. I didn't know you streamed on YouTube. Yeah, it's basically exclusively where I stream nowadays. I'm gonna coin out Thessarian and then play Astellar on the final turn. I mean, I guess turn two could be Death Chill. Death Chiller. I mean, if they don't have removal, it's just some pressure on the board. I think I need to try to push damage throughout the entire game because I can't burst a Blood Death Knight. All right, off to a great start. And a 30 card deck, they've already got, um, or a 40 card deck, they've already got their one mana removals. Sick. This is cool, I guess. I mean, I'm not, I'm not upset by it. We draw an extra card, we'll play the sword, it'll be okay. Who is my favorite actor? Ooh. I don't know if I have a favorite actor. I don't really know a lot of actors in general. I know their faces and I can recognize them and tell basically whatever they've been in. But I don't know any of their names. So we're gonna kill off the 2-1. Well, I guess we just go face. We can try to destroy the board in a little bit. I guess I can coin out the um, Harbringer of Winter just for a little bit of extra pressure. I mean, we already lost Death Chiller, so there's no real reason to hold on to everything. Whoa! Oh, wait, no, they're not a Thief Rogue. They actually play Death Knight cards. Never mind. Ram Druid literally does nothing the first five turns until they can actually play their win cons. Um, interesting. Don't think I care about that too much. Remorseless Winter sounds okay. Let's see where this goes. Are you Noble? Fine with the Noble Sacrifice. Just needed to test out what it was. So what do I do here? Remorseless Winter would destroy two things and draw me a card, but I feel like that's not the greatest use of my mana here. I could go Howling Blast, but I can't also play Remorseless Winter, so it's the point. Two Icy Touch. I could go Remorseless Winter, Icy Touch their face. Just so that they want to play the six mana weapon, they can't even do that. And then we'll just Icy Touch their face so they can't actually um, do anything yet. Hope you had a great Christmas. I did have a pretty good Christmas. It was nice. I spent a lot of time with family. I spent like three days off just hanging out with my family. They're not that far away, so I was like, I'll just drive down and spend a couple of extra days with them. Let's see. Bran? They're just playing Bran? Weird. He does look like Spider-Man? Wait, where did that come up? Where are you? What are you confirming? Like, yeah, he does look like Spider-Man. What does that mean? Win rate and low elos are BS. Sorry, mate. Wait. Oh, you're talking about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I understand, because you're talking... They're talking about being in silver. Yeah. But also, at the same time, like, there are a lot of people who are in silver, so it can be representative of people who are in that rank. I want to go Arcane. I'm going to have to kill Bran, but I can do it. It's going to be this to do three damage to Bran, so we can kill it with a uh, hit with the weapon. And then I'm also just going to do two damage with Astellar. I guess I can do two damage with Astellar here and not take the damage. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do that. We'll hit him in the face. We'll reduce the cost of something. That one being five is pretty nice. I want to play this one on seven because it's mana efficient. And then I can save this one for a more crucial turn when I need to combo a little bit. I guess. No! Don't hit Astellar. Oh my god. That's rough, buddy. You have zero mana. Horn of Winter, sure. Into, sure. Pretty sad I lost probably one of my most crucial cards, but it's okay. We'll make do with what we've got. Favorite superhero? Favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Okay, top deck to destroy it. Fair enough. Can't even hate on it too much. I mean, it's a fine play. It's a good play. We have another Fury to do a little bit of extra damage. Glacial Advance. How much damage can I really do here, actually? So this becomes four. So this is one, six. We can do eight with a Frost Strike. 
We can get to eight with Frost Strike. We can also Hero Power to do damage, but I think getting an extra spell is better than doing one damage. Like, this is three damage, which is just better over the course of a couple of turns. I do like that quite a bit. Oh, they have Vampiric Blood! We're in trouble! No! They're gonna discover it. Oh, it's gonna be discovered right now. Maybe Glacial Advance deserves to nerf more than Astellar. Kind of nuts. Yeah. Maybe. Astellar is really good. Please don't be Vampiric Blood. No! Man, just let me play my game! Just let me play! Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm actually gonna just lose the game. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Deal three. What do we discover? You to freeze everything? Say less. Freeze everything again. Such glory indeed, man. Ah, just let me freaking play the game. Ah, stop gaining tons and tons and tons of HP. Uh, okay, we can bait that out with the Horn of Winter pretty easily if it ends up being like Counterspell. And it leaves us with a decent amount of damage. Okay. No, it could be Ice Barrier. Oh no, what if it's Ice Barrier? It's randomly generated, right? Don't be Ice Barrier, please. Yes! Yes! We beat a Blood Death Knight. We're not zero and three. We're one and or we're not zero and four. We're one and three or something like that. I don't know. We did it. Oh my gosh, this matchup is winnable. I told you. So let's see here. What exactly is my plan? Do I want to keep both uh, death chillers? I think one is okay. We want to keep at least one because if, if it ends up being aggro, we need a way of dealing with minions on board, and it ends up looking like it's aggro or thief rogue or something. But two, and it's going to be harder to get value out of the Rimfang Sword. So I decided to do this. Okay, that's fine. Hero power, kill the 2-1. Uh, the I guess they could maybe pump it up or protect it with a 1-3 taunt. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's not good. They do get to just draw an extra card. I think they're going to end up drawing two extra cards in total here, which I'm not a fan of. But the, but the sword... I mean, the sword will allow me to wipe the board next turn. Right? I'll be able to hit twice. Yes, they're able to generate a lot of extra options, but at the end of the day, hate drawing that. That's actually useless. We're gonna reduce the cost of these, which means maybe we can play it with the Death Chiller. Like, as long as we don't draw another spell, and play Death Chiller into this, into this, and do quite a bit of damage. Or we can just trade in with my weapon. I think that this is okay. I mean, that's not a big deal at all. They all get an attack. I mean, I'm gonna wipe their board this turn. I do have less draw than I would like, but I don't, I, I don't, I'm not upset about it. Your soul is mine. Where does it go? Goes in the other glacial advance. That's rough. That's really rough. So I guess what I do is I just go Howling Blast here to kill them all off, and then I trade this away. So I can save these to combo with Death Chiller maybe a little bit later and draw some cards in a little bit. I needed to wipe their board, and I didn't want to commit the uh, the death chiller to that. It was not going to be good enough. If you watch Ecor a lot and haven't received a gifted membership, your YouTube settings probably have gifted turned off. I mean, I don't know how that. Come on, stop drawing me this card. I do have a decent amount of potential draw, so let's do this first to draw a card, and then we can play this as well. We're gonna lose out on some valley from the Glacial Advance, but at the end of the day, I think it has to be done. So then this will kill the 3-3. Three, three. This will kill the 2-3. Two, three. And I don't even know if I necessarily want to attack with the weapon. There really is no need to. I can save the mana and get a little bit of board pressure here. We're running out of cards. It's crazy that they have more cards in hand than I do after wiping their board. Trant comes down. We'll kill it with a 2-2. We'll kill that with a weapon or something. This isn't that big of a problem for me yet. Uh, fair enough. Thing about crafting, uh, because I have dust for Death Rattle Rogue and Concoction Rogue. I mean, I don't think any of those are really reliable. I mean, I think... Yeah, I don't think either of those are reliable. I would say... Or trade this away. Let's say if you want to play Rogue, Thief Rogue is probably the most reliable card. 
As long as it doesn't hit the 2-3, we're happy, right? I guess we can also go boom and boom. And just kill off a couple of cards. This goes here, actually. I want to draw. See if I can draw a spell. We do end up drawing a spell, which is quite nice. I have to kill off both of these, though. Wait a minute. If I go Howling Blast on you... No, I think we just I think we just continue to commit to the board. We're going to play this in double trade. And we will play the weapon and the draw card in a second. Hits that. Little unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll kill off... Uh, this and then we'll hit that so that way this doesn't end up dying next turn we can play the weapon next turn i i think that this is okay i think we got to the point where it shouldn't matter too much because we've kind of hit a point of critical mass they ran out of resources we have a couple of more resources left and a pretty high value four drop right here pride fury is able to kill off my minion but i'll be able to kill it off with a three three which is nice Remorseless Winter is fine. This is 7. Yeah, we'll just play this, and then this, and then this for now. And we'll leave the 2-7 up. They do get to draw a card, which sucks. But at the end of the day, I don't think it matters too much. We'll play this, and I guess we can Howling Blast this. You know what? Let's do that. Let's make it so that way they can't attack and draw an extra card, because that's the only way they can feasibly come back. What's up, Ecor 100? Nothing much, nothing much. Just playing some games of Hearthstone. Having a good time. It was between Thief Rogue or Curse Imp Lock, so I was thinking Rogue is better to craft. I think Imp Warlock is, like, the best deck in the entire game. I genuinely do. I don't even think the other decks are really that good in comparison. Talented Arcanus. Oh my gosh. If I could snap, I would be snapping right here. We go... Boom. I guess technically we can reduce the man or the cost of this real quick. Doesn't technically matter. We get the fury, it's fine. This goes here, hero power, this goes here, this goes face. I mean again, we don't even have to play 100 percent optimally anymore. The game is basically over. They can't really fight for board. Which means uh we win now that we have board presence. And that's the big issue with the aggro jerd, right? If you lose board presence, you lose the game. It's a very linear deck, but I do appreciate the fact that it's simple to beat. We are going to keep a Frost Strike and the Baron for draw and resource generation because they'll probably have at least some, um, what's it called? Little, little, little piranhas that we're going to be able to kill with this to generate extra resources. Overall, this is not the worst matchup in the world for me. They don't really have that much healing. I could pretty easily coin out a Harbinger of Winter and just get that out of the way immediately i like saving the coin for the death chiller but i think getting pressure and getting two drop two drop three drop and drawing a ton of cards is just better hey uh gilbert thank you for becoming a member i appreciate it a ton thank you thank you thank you much appreciated hope you're having a good day i'm having a pretty good day i'm gonna be streaming one or two more uh times before the new year but 28th 29th 30th 31st and then the first i will be taking off Unfortunately. I'm gonna kill off the totem. I think just fighting for board a little bit with this deck makes sense to me. In the opinion of Blizzard, 40 HP on Renathal is too much, but 70 or 80 HP on Death Knight is okay. So, yeah, because Death Knight's not good. Like, Blood Death Knight, if you look at the win rates, is, is just objectively bad. Win rate-wise, if you go based on the data. We get the sword, thank goodness. That's kind of what I was looking for. They could Primordial Wave, hoping they don't Primordial Wave, but they could. Dan, okay. And then it gives them something that can heal their stuff up. Like, we lose a lot of card draw there. Do I want to play draw, or do I want to play weapon to reduced cost? I think I'd rather get another minion on the board. Bonk, bonk. Do I want to play Icy Touch just to be mana efficient? Yeah, we'll keep him from being able to attack with that for now, I guess. It's not that bad. We get a 2-drop, which is okay. We can play this plus a 2-drop next turn. Gilbert, you don't speak a lot of English, but you like my content? Well, I appreciate it. I speak a little bit of Spanish. I mean, I took three years in high school. I can understand some basic things when read. I can't understand Spanish when it's being spoke to me. And I also... I don't want to get anybody hyped up being like, oh, we can talk Spanish now. No, I do not understand a lot of it, but I can understand some basic terms. So, like, my grandma 
For those of you who don't know, I'm like, I, my grandma is, is Mexican and she speaks a lot of Spanish. So I've been around it, but I've never really understood it. Never been good at understanding it. And when she talks with some of my family members or some of her like neighbors, I am lost. Like I'll pick up maybe 20% of it and I'll be like, oh, she's talking about me. I hope it's good, but I, I, I don't know. Heck if I know. Uh, I want to go Frost Strike and generate a new card and start trying to pressure face. Uh, Glacial Advance for more damage sounds good to me. But yeah. Anyway, when people speak Spanish, they talk so fast, and I just can't understand them. But reading it, I can take my time and be like, okay, need to remember second year Spanish. I need to remember this specific verb rule. And it just, I don't know, it buys me the, the time I need. Blood, blood, blood pretty much has no win condition in its own class other than Astellar. It's all control and built, uh, hopefully not fatigue. I mean, kind of true. Low roll. Okay, that's not a low roll. It's a pretty high roll, actually. I have maybe one to two turns to live. After that, I'm going to die. I guess Howling Blast does buy me some time. We have to hit and hope it goes on Howling Blast. We have to hope it goes on Howling Blast. If it does, we're so happy. Goes in Remorseless Winter. Can I afford to take 12 damage here? I would say the answer is yes, I can afford to take it. And then try to combo off next turn and see if I can get a couple more reduced cost cards here. So I'm going to do that into Stealth to empty up some room in my hand. I can take 12 damage. I don't think, even if they give it Wind Fury, I don't die here. When I'm playing your Blood 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 Death Knight and um, having a ton of fun even if games are long, I actually like really long games, which makes me a little bit biased, I guess, but I, I really do enjoy them. I think particularly long games are very fun. Oh, balls. For lack of a better term, oh, balls. How much damage do I have here? Is this lethal? One, two, three, five, six, seven mana. No, yeah, I can I can play everything, right? Boom. Then this for free. So I can hit him in the face. That reduce the cost of more cards. And then we're gonna go this into howling, right? That's six. That's five, and then that's legal. I mean. Turn 6, 12, 12, Deathwing, no problem. Uh, I kind of like Talented Arcanus with Howling Blast into what is probably an aggressive deck, but I think I'm gonna just get rid of everything and look for slightly better things, like Death Chiller, like a weapon, like something to deal with the minions. Two Glacial Advances, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Glacial Advance, I think that it can be very, very good. Uh, I just don't think that it is particularly good right now. I think we're going to need a way of actually dealing with imps and stuff on the board. I guess there's a world where it ends up being the... Okay. Never mind. I was going to say what's like mine. Mine warlock. Which would be not great. We have to kill off an imp. You know, I, should I have kept a howling? I don't think so. I think howling was not necessarily a good thing to keep. I, I stand by getting rid of it. I wanted to look for... Well, really anything playable. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have to top deck. No, it doesn't even matter what we top deck here. I was like, Remorseless Winter, but that doesn't do anything. If we had the other thing, we could have at least maybe, uh... I think I have to go with you. And it'll draw me two cards. So you get a Remorseless Winter for next turn. They're gonna play via library or draw six cards. Oh, man. I'm assuming they just go full face here. Are they gonna trade? I don't know if I agree with that. I actually don't know if I agree with that play. If I go Glacial Advance into First Strike, I guess that's probably my best bet. And then I can say Remorseless Winner if they fill up the board again. I'm losing a lot of potential burst damage here, but I don't think it's as bad. Ooh, I do like this. This is actually really good for freezing their board if they end up going pure uh, imp. Freezing their board is actually going to be really helpful. So let's take that and pass for now. 
I have Remorseless Winter as well as the weapon that I can play soon. Honestly, I might end up playing both things. So it looks like they are going pure imp. Just pure imp. Well, that's really frustrating. That becomes a 3-3. Taking a decent amount of damage. I think we have to end up playing both things here. So it's going to be boom. And then this Remorseless. Well... What if I go boom? No, that won't work. We have to go Remorseless here into another one into Harbinger of Winter just so I have a minion on the board. Yeah, I like that. Well, I guess we can attack first because if it goes on this or this, I can just do four damage. But then again, I'm going to need to attack this. So there's really no reason to wait it out. No, we'll still do it. We'll see where it goes. It goes on that. Yeah, we can actually do boom into Remorseless. And then I think we could just go Horn of Winter into the Harbinger of Winter if we wanted to, just so we have some extra pressure on the board. I don't particularly know if that's good or bad. I'm going to say it's good because drawing extra cards and having a little bit of board presence is nice. We're going to freeze their board in a turn or two, which is also pretty nice. Oh, man. They had just a really good start with that Fiendish Circle and two Vile Libraries. I'm kind of surprised I've been able to survive as long as I have been. The TTP Dax is in my Discord channel, by the way. So you're going to have to go to the Discord channel to, to see that. That's a lot of damage coming in. Howling Blast. Interesting. I'm going to hit face first. It does not go on the Frost Room's Fury. This to do three damage. I guess we can kill off a decent number of things here. We can kill off this. Yeah, we can kill this off. And then this lives and I take a little bit of damage, but it's not like it's that much. And then we go Frost Room's Fury. Hopefully not dying this turn. Get a card. Kind of cool. We're going to go boom into boom. They get a one. That's fine. They can pump it up a little bit more than we freeze their entire board. And I think we should be able to win in two turns, assuming I don't die. And even if they have the Bartender plus Pump, like, I don't... Oh, jeez Louise. That's still not enough to win, though. And they're going to be board locked for the most part, which is nice. I mean, I'm down to two. Salvageable. Still salvageable, for sure. We freeze their entire board. And then we attack, because it doesn't really change anything. What are the odds they have direct damage? I don't think that deck runs to Oh. They run the demonic card. They run demonic and they can kill me. I Maybe I should have killed the 9-8, but I couldn't have. Because it would have summoned another 1-1 one, one anyway, right? It wouldn't have mattered. It definitely would not have mattered. Uh, we win, right? Boom, into four damage, plus this hero power, plus this to get something new. All this is horribly ordered, by the way. I could have easily found something else at some point, but we'll just do that into hit. We had some extra damage. That was crazy. I guess I still could have lost the, the Demonic Assault or whatever it's called. 